Welcome back to my channel for a new mock military video, today with the Su-37 Terminator from Russia. This is one of my favorite fighter aircraft ever designed and probably if you follow me from a while you have already seen it on my channel but but this one is the updated version. I achieved also a better camo. And today, in this video, as usual, I'll show you all the little features this iCraft has. As usual, before starting, remember to give a thumbs up, that really helps me and my channel, so it's really appreciated if you leave a thumbs up. For you, it's nothing, for me, it's really a lot. Remember to check the caption of the video to find many useful links and the playlist. In the playlist, you can find all my other LEGO designs. Then, you can also find the link to get the instructions to build my uh, Su-37 and my other uh, creations. Another link to get only the parts to build them, a cheaper third-party solution, so you can decide to get the instructions and official LEGO bricks, or the third-party solution that is cheaper. You can also decide to buy only the most expensive parts third-party and the rest original, because they are exchangeable, so you can mix them and decide to use both of them together. And finally, you can find a last link with the full set, where you will get a home both the instructions and parts this way you don't need anything else and also in this case it's a third party company with cheaper parts that's why the price is lower we can finally start checking what we have here today and if you already have the previous one you probably may notice something is different and improved what we have here i think we may start from the pilot because as usual this one is in minifigure scale so you can place the minifigure inside of the aircraft today's pilot name can be uh, let's think a typical russian name emmanuel today we have emmanuel as pilot that can fit inside here now i'll show you how it looks like with the pilot of course you can close the cockpit at this point uh, maybe we can check the inside of the cockpit where we have some instruments here you can see the hud the heads up display and inside here the instruments are in a bright green color because for my creations the bright green means you can change these parts with any other cheaper solution uh, when they are internal parts now i show you an example here you can find some internal bright green parts or when you have instruments you can choose the one you like most you can choose stickers uh, printed parts custom parts that's up to you here we have the canards in this case the canards can move in any direction here we have a ball joint and uh, i think you know that the ball joint helps to move everything in any direction so you can go a little bit up a little bit down this way or you can rotate this way okay and i think it's pretty nice because you can move the canard as you prefer and get the best position for you then if we keep going here on the back we have this one is uh, an air brake it's needed to slow down very fast using the air friction and then you can keep it this way I think it's pretty nice. Then let's keep going here. On the main wings, we have the flaps needed for the, um, the landing. This can go down this way. Pretty nice as well. Then we have the tail. And on the tail, we have this part that can move right and left this way. Let's keep it, I don't know, like this. And of course, also this one can go up and down up and down and lastly but not for importance here we have the engines these are thrust vectoring it means that can move in any direction to achieve incredible maneuvers we have another ball joint present inside here that helps you uh, move this one up down you can go 
uh, right and left this way so you you can move it really in any direction and get the position you like most driving gears these are retractable so you can place them inside the iframe the front landing gear is pretty simple you can simply push it inside like this and then you can close the hatch this way and achieve this shape that is very smoothy smoothy really really beautiful for the back landing gears this can be uh, pushed down very easily as well but first here as you may notice we have a little claw needed to keep it steady when you put it on its landing gears and once it's disconnected from this little claw you can rotate the top of the landing gear this way like this then you can push it inside also in this case is present another ball joint so it's much easier to move it with your fingers while on the program as you may notice is pretty difficult because you have to move first in a direction then rotate then move again then rotate then move again i skipped this part for you because it was very boring now we can push this one inside a little bit as well this way it takes uh, less space and finally you can close the hatches one is here on the front like this and the one is on the rear like this okay and this is the final look with the landing gear closed this one of course is the same process but it's mirrored so same same thing and one last thing i want to show you here are the hard points we have four hard points on each main wing three are here you can clearly see them and another one is on the tip of the wing is the fourth one so we have one two three and four and of course also four on the other main wing plus four on the main fuselage and if you are thinking okay but where are the weapons good question my imaginary friend the answer is here this is my aircraft weapons pack and it's included with my all aircraft fighters because I designed many of them, as you may notice. And this way you can decide to build only the one you like most and how many of them you want. But very important, sometimes uh, these missiles, yes, are different in real life and you can spot the differences. Some of them are really, really similar. And in this scale, it's useless to design it two times while I have to use the same parts. It's the same thing so you can simply choose what you like so simply uh, i don't know I, I like this one i don't care what's what's the name what's the purpose i like this one and use it of course if you want to be more precise you can simply check maybe on wikipedia uh, what weapons are adopted for this aircraft and when you get the weapons pack this is what you will get everything is uh, separated by type and if you open the folder, for example, I don't know, missiles, inside the folder, you can find the weapons are based on, some of them are very similar, so it's not a big deal if you choose an American weapons on a Russian aircraft. But if you want to be more precise, you can check the names, and for example, the R-27, R-73, R-77, K-13, the KH-35, these are Russian missiles. This way you can decide to be more or less precise. And this is an example of what you can get. In this case, I choose four of these missiles, while these other four are based on the I-9 side the wind, American. While here, I simply added two more bombs. Now, here we have two more hard points you can use to connect more weapons. In this case, I left them empty simply because I wanted to add this stand that it's available for free. You can find the instructions for uh, this stand here in the right top corner or caption the video. There is the free tutorial playlist with my all free tutorials. This one is a uh, one of them and with the stand i prefer to keep them empty but there are smaller weapons you can add also here just like this little cute bomb that you can connect one here and another one here on the back this way you can connect two weapons more without the stand and using the landing gears of course you don't have this problem because uh, you can simply remove it and you have more space here and that's it, the video is finished. Again, if you like my designs, please remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. For me, it's really helpful for you. It's just a click. Remember to check also my other creations in the playlist and the links I told you before present in the caption of the video. 
Let me know in a comment if you like this update of the Su-37 and if you follow me for a while let me know in the comments if you already knew I designed a Su-37 before and if you enjoyed what I changed here. And okay, as usual, see you again next time in a new video. Bye!